from In the Garden of Gethsemane. In the final year of the war, my father was among the Canadian foresters deployed to the continent after D-Day. In the Belgian Ardennes, the Canadians cleared woods, set up equipment for milling lumber, and constructed corduroy roads, logs laid in tracks to enable movement of trucks and tanks through forest trails and mountain terrain. As German troops began to breach the Allied line in what Americans would call the Battle of the Bulge, my father was one of the forestry troops assigned to fight alongside U.S. soldiers at the front. As Christmas approached, his associates in the lumber camp worried they might have to cancel the party planned for Belgian war orphans and weathered some hasty retreats. Events documented in the commander's war diary. For the foresters assigned to combat, it's oral narrative that survives. One afternoon, I sat before my father with a tape recorder. To, to go through what they did is, it was just, you know, day after day after day of comets in the air, comets from artillery, comets from tanks, he said in speech, conflating the missiles of heaven and hell, coherent as apocalypse. By they, he meant the German troops. With Russia advancing from the east, the Third Reich's demise was imminent. My dad pitied the German troops, some children of 15, forced to fight at the threshold of defeat. He didn't mention the freezing temperatures, a terrain that impeded visibility and movement, the presence of German paratroopers dressed as American soldiers in the woods, or the forester later decorated for bulldozing a line of Germans amid their fire. He never alluded to the adage that no battle was ever fought under worse conditions. Spies and confusion, snow-caked meadows strewn with massacred prisoners, the validation of every folk tale prescription that in the forest evil lurks. When the Ardennes campaign ceased in January of 1945, my father's duties included clearing landmines from a golf course on the Belgian coast. Mines laid on top of mines, he said. He did not like to speak of combat but remembered the forest saying, the trees were burned and filled with shrapnel shot to hell. 90% of the trees in that forest were injured or destroyed. Thank you.